Morning, everyone. Muneeb Shah. I head digital assets technology consulting uh, at EY for financial services. Been in the blockchain space for close around seven, eight years now, and you know, dynamically evolving world. So great to be in this space. You know, the challenge is not about technology only, right? Sometimes we tend to think about blockchain and the nascency of the technology itself, whether it's mature enough, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But over the last few years, we have seen that transition. Technology has matured. There are use cases which are foremost now at production grade maturity. The biggest challenge we do think is about the ecosystem uh, around that particular use case, the adoption, and what we call as a minimum viable ecosystem to sustain a particular use case on the platform. There are also some challenges with respect to regulatory maturity backing some of these use cases. And I think these, to be honest, are, in my view, the topmost two challenges that organizations face while navigating blockchain as a key technology for building platforms for new and emerging use cases. We have often looked at uh, use cases in the past wherein uh, you know, enterprises, organizations looked at blockchain as a technology first lever without thinking about where does it lend itself more suitably from a use case perspective. What we now need to be doing, and I think the, the industry as a whole has moved to that level now, wherein we are now looking at use cases at the basic building block and the business application and the ROI from a commercial viability standpoint not just in terms of what the technology brings to the table. So our view advice to our clients has always been, let's look at the use cases first. Let's understand what that use case really needs from an underlying tech stack standpoint. Does it really merit using a blockchain? And if yes, what type of a blockchain is best suited? I think that should be the key lever. We have seen that transition over, over the last five, six years in terms of a maturity of the platform from a technical standpoint at multiple levels. So we were talking about, for example, are we creating digital silos or new islands? We have now moved to a world where we're talking about seamless interoperability. We're talking about privacy. We're talking about high scalability. All the key elements that a technology platform would need to provide for enterprise use cases. Keeping that aside, as I said before, I think there are still some challenges around the ecosystem development and the regulatory, you know, sort of regime backing the whole blockchain paradigm. Uh, we would need to see a little bit more proactiveness from regulators in terms of uh, encouraging the use of the technology, encouraging the innovation. And that has already started happening. We are now seeing regulators coming up with uh, distributed ledger uh, orientated sandboxes wherein they are encouraging participants to test new use cases, for example, on bonds, securities, carbon emissions, and whatnot. Uh, I think we need more of that globally, and we also need a fully baked regulatory sort of framework in terms of how digital assets can and, and blockchain can manifest in future. A good start with the Mika regulation in, in Europe, which gives us a, a sort of a black and white guideline as to what we can do in this space. A lot of focus here in the UK uh, from the Treasury and the FCA in terms of setting up digital security sandboxes. And yeah, you know, I, I think we're moving in the right direction and more to come in the space.